Hello folks, Ron back here with Ron Brown's YouTube channel. We talk about a lot of drones, drone gears, drone accessories. Today we're going by drone controllers. And uh, we had the release of the DJI Air 3 drone last week. And one of the biggest questions about this drone is we, we knew that it came with its new set of controllers. It came with a RCN2, which is the basic controller, you know, with no screen, the old controller. And then the DJI RC2, that's the one that... Uh, you know, the, the one that has the built-in screen to it. Now, it's not like the RC Pro. It doesn't have the 1,000 nits. It has a 700 nit screen. It doesn't allow you to install third-party apps. It, it has a screen, but it's basically, you know, like a semi-smart controller or whatever, you know, a, a scaled-down smart controller. But it was very popular, released with the um, Unimini 3 Pro uh, uh, last summer, uh, uh, you know, the, the uh, whatever, May of 2022. Very, very popular controller. Very affordable. I think it was under $300 if you bought it on its own. But most... Most people got it with a package, you know, with a drone. But anyhow, so um, the action, so the action three came out. A lot of people wanted to know is, you know, um, will it work with other controllers such as the RC Pro, and will that new, uh, the new controllers that came out, the ones I just described that came out with the Air Three, will they work with older drones you know, such as the uh, Mini Mini Series Mini Three uh, Pro or? Just a Mini Three, uh, Air Two S, you know, uh, you know, kind of recent drones or whatever that work with the the older versions of controllers. And as of today, this is um, August first, two thousand twenty-three. That's a no, you know, on almost everything. As of today, the Action Three drone only works with the two controllers that are offered in the packages: that that RC N Two and the R, you know, RC2, they're the only controllers that will operate the Air 3 as of today. Now, if I don't get this video posted today, that could change by tomorrow, uh, August 2nd. But on August 1st, uh, it only worked with those, um, you know, those two controllers. Now, on the other, flipping around the other direction, um, those two controllers, the ones I keep saying, the RCN2 and the DJRC2, they will not work with any of the older drones. They will not work with any drone in the Maverick 3 series, any drone in the Mini 3 series, or the um, Air the Air 2S, or I even throw in the Mini 2 series, whatever. Not nada. So um, if you get the Air 3 and one of those new controllers, that's it. They're 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 like a matching pair. There, they will only work with each other. They won't work with any other you know, any other drones as of this date. Uh, now that could change. And the big difference here is, uh, of course, uh, the new drone and new controllers work on the O4 OcuSync 4 transmission system. And uh, those other uh, series of drones, the Mavic 3 series, the, the Mini 3 series, and the um, Air 2S work on the OcuSync 3 transmission system. So, um, and whether, again, that'll ever change, uh, I, I have no knowledge. I mean, there were strong indications that the RC Pro would work with the new Air 3. In fact, uh, I believe the, the day that the Air 3 came out, the um, RC Pro received the firmware update. I mean, it got two firmware updates back to back. It got one to introduce that new, um, what do they call it, outdoor mode. But then a couple of days later, it got another firmware update, and it mentioned there about, uh, you know, the uh, Air 3. But if you've done that update and you've got your Air 3 updated, you'll go in there and you cannot choose um, the Air 3 as one of the drones on the RC Pro. So, uh, again, hopefully, uh, still some hope out, you know, that that will uh, happen. Because um, I know somebody was talking about, you know, the uh, RC Pro has the six antennas in it, just like the uh, the, the the two controllers that, that, that are available with the, with the Air 3. So if, the, if it's the amount of antennas that are the key to make an O4 work, then, you know, hopefully we still got a possibility. But again, I'm just, I'm just saying that there's no verification from DJI that the RC Pro will uh, work with the Air 3 at any point. But uh, again, let's hold out hope that it does. So, I, I mean, everybody, a lot of people love that controller. It's expensive, costs more money than a lot of the drones do. But uh, that thousand nit screen, the ability to, uh, you know, upload third-party apps, uh, you know, just all the buttons and customization just make it a, a, what it, it just called it's a pro controller rather than kind of a hobbyist controller, uh, you know, or semi-pro like the, uh, you know, the RC1 the and RC2. So, yeah, just a little clarification here. I mean, I still hear that question asked a lot about uh, controller compatibility, yeah, compatibility. So I just want to make this, uh, you just want to clear, you know, clear the air as of August 1st. Again, hopefully uh, some of this information will change, 
you know, go forward here, but, uh, you know, uh, it, it may not. So, uh, and I know that upsets a lot of people or it's going to influence a lot of people's buying decisions. A lot of people say, well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get that new Air 3 if it, you know, if it doesn't work with the RC Pro or, you know, um, uh, I think a, a lot of people would like to take that, you know, that DGRC2 with the antennas on top and the greater uh, signal, uh, uh, you know, power, hopefully, to, um, sorry about scratch here, but this is like a live, not live video here. I'm not doing any editing or whatever out. So, because uh, again, if I edit these videos, it takes me forever to get them up. So uh, I'm just throwing this up. But um, a lot of people want, wanted to take that RC2 with those flip up antennas on it and, and, and you know, basically six antennas unit and use that on an older, you know, on their older drones because like such as the Mini 3 Pro, which, you know, the Mini 3 Pro, I mean, it's a great little drone, and it got O3, but because that, uh, that especially the RC2 controller, without the external antennas, it just doesn't seem to have the range and the performance uh, that, that you would expect from something like that or whatever. Uh, at least a lot of people say that. And uh, they, they, they thought that, you know, if they used the RC2 with those antennas, you know, especially the external ones, that they would get, you know, better, not only better range, but uh, better signal penetration around objects if they could use that controller, you know, uh, hopefully, you know, hoping that, you know, it, even though that's an O4 transmitter, that it could, you know, uh, what do you call it, a, a down, down sample to O03 or whatever for drones such as the Mini 2 and even the, you know, the Air 2S or whatever. But uh, at this point, uh, that's a no right now. What well, Again, whether that changes or not, I don't know. But So again, uh, it left a lot of people kind of disappointed. A lot of people had all these questions before the release of the Air 3. And unfortunately, like, um, you know, uh, uh, well, you could say none of them have been answered. All have been answered that, you know, these... These new controllers are only going to work with a new drone, and a new drones only going to work with these new controllers, and every everything else is, you know, basically a walled garden in the O3 uh, transmission of, of uh, you know of the Mavic 3 series, the Mini Mini, Mini 3 series, and the Air 2S series. So um, yeah, um, sorry, no good news for uh, uh, the people that are hoping for uh, cross compatibility with older drones and older older. Uh, transmission systems but again this isn't the final word um, I have no prediction one way or the other whether um, you know uh, this will ever change but uh, you know, you can always hope right you know I'll, I'll always hold out hope there in, in the drone community so okay that's kind of it just kind of a short video today just wanted to get that information out there and uh, if you have any you know comments or questions leave them down below and uh, don't forget to uh, Give me the thumbs up if you got anything out of this video. Subscribe to the channel if you if you like the content here. Ring the bell so you'll know when I put more videos up about uh, you know, drones and, and action cameras. I got the uh, DJ Action 4 coming out soon, and uh, you know, and, and I got a couple ways down below to help the channel. Out. Got the thanks button in the menu there near the like button. You can uh, send a you know uh, you know a couple shekels over there you know to help uh, me get more stuff in the review in the channel here. And it's all also going to put a buy, buy me a coffee down there to uh, get me a, a nice uh, iced coffee here in the summertime. It's, it's warm temperatures here and that'll you know keep me motivated to making more videos and, and testing out more objects and doing. Uh, you know products and doing more uh, reviews out there so with that being said uh see you in the next one folks